card. And I'm just going to go ahead and pray because I like to do that before I um, do anything with the word of God. So if you guys want to pray with me, Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for this day, Lord. We just praise your holy name, Lord. I come before you today with a humble heart, Father, and I just want to learn more about you. I want to grow closer to you, Lord. So I pray that as I go through this verse in 1 John, that you would reveal yourself to me in a mighty way. And I pray that this video is a blessing to those who are watching. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. So what I did, if you guys have watched any of these, is I've been writing through the book of First John. So I have in my little daily scripture writing, I have written one or two verses, depending on how many fit there, in the book of First John. So I'm only on verse eight, and I'm using the amplified version because the amplified version adds extra information in the brackets. And this extra information is great when you're doing a morning devotional. So this isn't my Bible study. This is just me spending time with God in his word. And so I've written that out. I don't know if you guys have this book or if you want to follow along, but I'm going to try to get my camera to focus, maybe. There you go. Okay, so it says, if we say we have no sin, and then in brackets, it's going to explain that. Refusing to admit that we are sinners, we delude ourselves and the truth is not in us, which means his word does not live in our hearts. So really super good verse. Um, did I learn anything that I can praise God for? So what does it tell us about God here? This is what I do. I mean, just go through it. And it actually doesn't mention God in this verse. It says that the truth, and he is the truth. We know that he's the truth, the way and the life, right? So we know that, but it doesn't really say anything directly about him. However, I know that he's the truth. So I'm going to say that he is truth. And it says, did God tug at my heart about something that I need to confess? So typically I would read this again and just come at it with the idea that is God tugging at my heart about any of this? So I'm going to read it again. If we say we have no sin, refusing to admit that we are sinners, we delude ourselves and the truth is not in us. His word does not live in our hearts. Okay, so that's a tough one because I'm not really feeling any tug there. Um, Hmm, let me, let me just sit for a second here and think about this one. I don't think I feel like I need to confess anything with that. And that's great. That's great. It doesn't happen a lot. Like most times I come up with something that I just am not feeling like I'm convicted with anything in this verse. So I will go on to the next section. And this says, what did I realize that I need to thank God for? I'm trying to get it to focus. It does not want to. Okay, what did I realize that I need to thank God for? Well, I definitely want to thank him for the truth. And um, I want to thank him that his word lives in our heart because it says if we lie to ourselves and admit that, don't admit that we're sinners, it says that his word does not live in our heart. So that tells me that his word does live in my heart, even if I do sin. So I'll write that down. His word lives in my heart. And then what does it say next? What did I realize that I need God's help with? So let me look at the verse again. What do I need God's help with? A lot of times this question can be answered based on if you felt like you needed to confess something. But since I didn't write anything, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the verse again and see if there's something I need God's help with. If we say we have no sin, refusing to admit that we are sinners, we delude ourselves and the truth is not in us. His word does not live in our hearts. So what do I need God's help with? I need God's help with admitting sin. I don't know if admitting has two T's. I don't think so, but it doesn't look right, does it? Okay, we'll just take it out of there. <laughs> Does it, Samantha? Am I spelling it right? Okay. Yes, it has T's. It, do, it does have two T's. Why did it look so weird? Okay. Usually you double that when you do the ING. Okay. Admitting sin. Um, so I would say, now look, now I thought of this. What did I realize I need God's help with admitting sin? And then he kind of tugged at my heart here. And I thought, oh, wait, I need to make sure that I 
that I admit my sin right away. Make sure I admit sin right away. And God wants us to do that right away. If we do something, if we have a thought, if we have an, a behavior, if we have an attitude, whatever it is, if we're doing it and we realize, oh, I should not have done that, we need to come to him right away. It doesn't have to be a special time. It doesn't have to be with anyone else. Just in your mind, just say, I'm so sorry I did that, God. That's all, that's all it is. Just, just try not to do it again. And that's all he wants us to do. Bring it to him. He already knows we did it. And so that's something I want to make sure that I do. So the next thing says, write a prayer and let God know how you plan to apply these lessons and truths to your life. So I'm going to write a prayer to God. And there's no right or wrong way to do this either. If you're re-watching this on YouTube later, you've probably seen several of these videos with this. So you kind of know how it works. I absolutely love this book. I do not write in it every day, even though it's the daily scripture writing. I just forget and have too many other things going on. But when I do write in it, it really is encouraging and it's really a fun way to um, just be in God's presence. So Father God, now we're going to look at what I can praise him for. So I praise you that you are truth. And I know the verse, you are the way, the truth, and the life. So I could write that. I don't know where it's at in the Bible. I think it's in John. I have no idea, but I could write that as part of my prayer. He loves when we add scripture back to him, but I'm just going to leave it simple right now. I praise you that you are truth. Okay. And then it's, we also learn then that his word lives in our heart. So your word, I'm going to say to God, lives in me, and I am eternally grateful for that, right? We want to be thankful for that. Um, then we could say, um, I do not want to be, let's see, it said we delude ourselves. So I want to say, Please forgive me. So this is my confession part. Please forgive me when I have sinned. Please help me. So this is where I'm asking him. Please help me to recognize and confess my sin right away, right away, we want to do it right away. So I can have, let's say uninterrupted. I'm going to try to spell that word. I don't know if I did it right, but that's okay. Uninterrupted Uninterru fellowship with you. Okay, in the almighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen, it says. So that was my prayer. Now I've got my prayerful planner stickers out here. I'm sorry, this isn't focusing very good. I'm trying to get it to, okay? And these were for this year, so 2022 planner. I got these um, with that, which are, they're so cute. So I'm gonna like pick out some colors here, kind of that go along with these stickers and then decide how I'm gonna decorate because that's kind of a fun part of doing this daily scripture writing is just the decorating part. Kind of makes it more fun. So I've got, I've got this purple polka dot. I've got, I love polka dots. It's my favorite washi. This does not go with that, however. So I will not be using that. This one goes really well. I don't think I have that mustardy gold color. That could work though. That could work. It's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of washi. My washi is so old. Oops. And it's really hard to get off of here. All right, so I'll just use a little piece. I'm gonna put it right over here in this section. And I intentionally rip washi almost always at an angle. I just like the like rough look of it, I guess. And then I'll get this little piece of yellow. Something just to know about washi tape is it doesn't like to be alone. 
<laughs> so don't ever just leave a piece of washi just lay in there with nothing next to it or on it because it doesn't like that. Um, so then I'm going to just use a little piece of this one and then I'm going to put one of the stickers on it. I love these flowers. See, that's super cute. So I kind of layered it and hunked it together. So now, since that's there, I'm going to do a little bit down here in this corner. And we'll probably do the same thing, but with a different sticker. Or we might use the same sticker. I don't know. We're just going to see what happens. Yeah, I'll use the same sticker. It's kind of cute that way. So if you can see it there. Oh, it's pretty. Okay, I like it. Um, I have this like, I don't know, aqua colored, whatever it is, whatever it is, brush, brush pen. I'm going to just do some like little three randomly around it. Hopefully I don't damage my brush pen because it has such a sensitive tip. Do that. Uh, maybe up here. And then I'm going to do one more section of washi. I like to balance it out, kind of a triangle thing. I like for it to look, uh, I don't know, just when you go back and look at it, you like it to be pretty, right? It's fun to look at that way. And it's really fun to go back through these and kind of reflect on what you've written. So it's a really good, easy way to write out a daily prayer. Um, plus you're writing God's word, which is super important that we hide that in our hearts. And let's see, what do I want to do now? Hmm. I don't know. I think I like this purple one. You are loved. I don't know what I was saying. Um, I am going to take a little piece of this washi though, because I kind of want it to go over this a bit instead of under it. So I'm just going to place it over that so it sort of comes around it. And really that's all there is to it. Like it's that easy. Um, it could take you, I don't know, 10 minutes in the morning to fill out one of these. And um, I'm going through one book of the Bible, 1 John, because I want to learn these truths in order. So I want to go through one book from beginning to end. You could take this and you could do, let's just even base it on the sticker. You could find a verse that has to do with God loving us. And you could write that verse. You could find out who the author is, write the verse, and then you could fill out these prompts based on that. So it really is super easy. Um, this has enough pages for six months. So it's a really good sized book. I love the... Uh, dot grid pages. And I love that it's so durable. Like I can completely bend this backwards and then it's still just fine. So there's that too. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to do it live today. I thought some of you might have fun joining me. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in another YouTube video. Bye.